It's actually hard to tell. It's hard to tell which uh, which is which, really. Um, <laughs> I would, Took the brands off. We took the brands off, but uh, it's hard to tell which is which is which with the brands off. They'll they'll pretty much look the same. We need something different, and we, and we need we need sustainable energy now. If we if we don't if we don't have a pickup truck, we can't solve it. But, uh, the number one selling truck a vehicle in America, top three uh, selling vehicles in America are pickup trucks. We have to if to solve sustainable energy, we have to have a pickup truck. So I present to you the Cybertruck. When the Cybertruck was first released, many people were filled with disbelief. The majority of the people in the audience believed that it was just a funny joke Musk was making. However, as Musk continued to explain the specs of the vehicle, it became clear that he was being serious. Elon Musk knew that the pickup truck segment was a sector that needed to be disrupted. After all, pickup trucks have looked the same for hundreds of years. Elon Musk will soon reveal another vehicle that will blow people's minds, and the evidence points towards a compact vehicle. In January 2020, when Elon Musk first introduced the Model 3 in China, he talked about how he would release a Chinese-made vehicle with the shock level on par with the Cybertruck. Something that would be, I think, super cool would be to, and so we're going to do it, uh, I mean, we're going to try to do it, is uh, to create a, um, a China design and engineering center to actually design a, a, an original car in China for worldwide consumption. I think this will be very exciting. Um, I think China has some of the best art in the world. Uh, and if, And, and I think it's something that, that would be appreciated on a, on a worldwide basis. And I think it sh should be done. You know, we're going to do it. Um, you know, try, try something just like kind of radical, you know, like Cybertruck, you know. Nobody was expecting that, you know. And that's, uh, it's so we'll just, I think we should try to do something just like, you know, like just cool and different and something the world hasn't seen before. Uh, but like that really moves their heart and you know, gets you right there. And that's, that's the kind of product that you want. We wish there were more of those things in the world. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. The most important part about this clip is when Elon Musk described how he wanted to try something radical, like the Cybertruck. Based on the facts we know, we can infer what type of vehicle Musk will reveal. We know that China is known for its compact vehicles. In the year of 2019, the best-selling vehicle in China made by Volkswagen was a compact car. The second best-selling vehicle made by Nissan was also a compact car. The top selling vehicle list in China is filled with compact cars. After all, these vehicles are the cheapest out of the bunch and work well in a high populated environment. Another fact we know is that the compact car industry is evolving incredibly slowly. Similar to that of the pickup truck industry, compact vehicles have looked the same for hundreds of years. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. By creating a vehicle that could be affordable to the majority of the population, this would accelerate the transition by a large amount. Tesla continues to make products accessible and affordable to more and more people, ultimately accelerating the advent of clean transport and clean energy production. Tesla's goal is to move towards more affordable vehicles and we can see that with the recent vehicle launches. Another piece of evidence pointing towards a new compact vehicle is the recent improvements with self-driving technology. The full self-driving features price is continuing to increase in the coming years through the addition of improvements. In October 2019, Tesla acquired DeepScale, a Bay Area startup that is focused on the deep neural network of self-driving vehicles. This acquisition is starting to pay off, and while Musk isn't officially announcing improvements, the company's patent applications have been revealing impressive advancements. On April 17th, a new patent application called Systems and Methods for Training Machine with Augmented Data was filed for a total rewrite of autopilot. Tesla's self-driving technology is improving at an incredibly fast rate, but it all means nothing if there aren't enough self-driving vehicles on the road. When a user calls an Uber or Lyft, what often differentiates the two companies is the time the user has to wait for an available driver to come pick them up. 
If Tesla wants to roll out their ride sharing app, they need to minimize this time. The last hint we have is the leak of a recent drone shot taken on April 9th. Gigafactory Shanghai is rapidly expanding for what could be the production of a new vehicle. However, this still remains a speculation because some, if not all of these new lands will be used to produce the Model Y. Now, if we were to see a compact vehicle be released, what should we expect? For one, the design must be built in a way that would maximize profitability. The Cybertruck's sharp edges were purposefully shaped in a way where only one exoskeleton would be needed in the phases of production. This allowed Tesla to lower costs while simultaneously providing higher specs. The blocky design of the Cybertruck also allowed for an easy installation of a solar panel on the rear hatch. With the ongoing transition to sustainable energies, Elon Musk recognizes the potential of solar power vehicles. China, a country known for its high temperatures, would benefit severely through the release of solar powered vehicles. From a business perspective, we're likely to see a rear hatch with a solar panel. Now the less predictable portion of the vehicle is the design. Given the fact that the vehicle needs to maximize profitability, there are still so many variations in design that we just have to wait to be shocked when the vehicle comes out. As far as specs, we really don't have much evidence to point to because of the fact that the battery investor day has been delayed to May. But check out my video on dry electrodes on the top right of the screen if you haven't yet. In that video, I discuss why there's a high chance Tesla unveils groundbreaking dry electric technology on Tesla's battery investor day. Based on the Cybertruck, we can expect a range in the low 200s or the high 100s, as keeping a high profit margin will be incredibly important for a compact vehicle. Overall, I'm really excited about Tesla's future in the compact vehicle space. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so I know that you want to see more videos like this. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon in the description below. I appreciate your support.